What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about the identity property of addition and multiplication. All right, so the identity property of addition basically just says that when you add zero to any number, it doesn't change the value of the number. Okay, so for example, if we had the number seven and I added zero to it, well, what would your answer be? It would still just be seven, right? So adding zero to a number doesn't change it. So I'm pretty sure you already knew that, but now you know the proper term for it. So another example would just be, you know, if you had something like negative 5.3 and you added zero to it, well, your answer would still be negative 5.3, okay? And again, same thing works with variables. So if you had something like 3x squared plus zero, well, then your answer would still be 3 x squared okay so that's pretty straightforward right now the number zero is also referred to as the additive property let's write that down additive the reason it's referred to as the additive property is because when you add it it doesn't change the value okay and the identity property is all about not changing the value Okay, so that's the identity property of addition. Now let's jump into the identity property of multiplication. Okay, so the identity property of multiplication just says when you multiply something by one, it doesn't change the value of that number. So for example, if you had 23 times one, your answer here would still just be 23, right? Or if you had something like negative 4.20 and you multiplied that by 1, well, your answer would still be a negative 4.20, right? Or one more example for good measure, if you had 5n over 2y and you multiplied that by 1, well, your answer would simply be 5n over 2y, okay? Now, again, you probably knew multiplying by one doesn't change your answer. But again, now you know the official term for it, okay? Now, multiplying by one is known as the multiplicative property. And that is a mouthful. Now, it's called the multiplicative property because whenever you multiply, right, we're multiplying by one, it doesn't change your answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.